Hey guys, welcome to Gulp for Designers. So, first of all, what is Gulp? Gulp is a task builder, and it automates a lot of the tasks designers and developers need to do every day. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Gulp specifically as a designer to speed up your workflow and make your life easier. For example, how many times have you had to ask yourself which CSS properties need browser, uh, browser prefixes, and then you had to type all of them in? Gulp will do this automatically for you. Uh, another example is I'll show you how to separate your CSS into UI components and then compile, compile all those files into one CSS file. Uh, I'll also be showing you how you can set up Gulp to automatically refresh the browser every time you make a change to any kind of specific uh, file that you specify. Um, I've seen some designers on YouTube recommend you use a tool such as CodeKit to do this, and for small personal projects, that's fine, but for any kind of professional or production type app, you're going to be wanting to use a task building tool like Gulp or Grunt, because chances are the company that you're working at is already using something like that, and skills like Gulp are highly in demand. So enough talk, let's get started. Okay guys, so the first thing that we need to do before we do anything with Gulp is there's a couple dependencies that we need to install. The first one is going to be Node. Now what downloading Node will allow us to do is use the Node Package Manager and for Gulp it allows us to quickly install the Gulp modules uh, directly from the terminal. So if you're on Windows uh, you're going to want to go to nodejs.org and then go to the uh, downloads link here and then depending on what version of Windows you're on you're going to want to download either the 32-bit or the 64-bit version so go ahead and do that now if you're on a Mac uh, you'll see that you also have the option to download an installer package from Mac but what I'm going to recommend is to actually use brew or homebrew to install node and what this will do is it will allow us to install node with the correct permissions because if you install node just using the package here you're going to have to type in sudo every time that you run an npm install command in the terminal and that can be annoying if, so if we go in and we install it with homebrew it will install it with the correct permissions. So if you're on Mac, just head to brew.sh and then you just copy this, uh, this line here and you're going to want to do a command space to bring up the spotlight. And just type in terminal and then all you have to do is paste in that line and then hit enter and that will install homeroom for you. Uh, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to run that. And now I know that a lot of designers, they've never used the terminal before, but don't be scared. Um, it's, it's really not that bad. It, it's easy to learn. And once you get comfortable with the terminal, uh, you'll find that doing a lot of things is much quicker than using uh, a GUI. So creating uh, project folders, creating files, um, deleting things, moving things, it's all very easy and quick to do with the terminal and especially using um, Gulp and um, node modules you're going to want to do it with the terminal. You'll be ready to go. Okay so after you installed that now we can use both Gulp and we can install any um, Gulp module that we need using NPM. So great, now we have our basic setup. We can go ahead and learn how we can use the different Gulp modules to improve our design workflow. Now if you're on Windows, um, accessing the uh, terminal, which is called the command prompt in, in Windows, uh, you'll access that by clicking the start button and then you'll see a, um, a link that says run. You wanna click run and then just type in cmd command and that will open up the command prompt for you and you'll be able to run 
the uh, same commands that we're going to be running. So you're going to want to do the installing the gulp command line interface globally, like we did on the Mac, and then any of the uh, npm commands that we run in the future videos, you're going to want to do from the command prompt as well. So see you in the next video.